Before we begin today's video, we want to give a shout out to Random Films for winning the Amino App Meme Contest we had a few weeks ago. Link to his channel will be in the description below. There was very little Palpatine cared for aside from gaining power over both the galaxy and the dark side of the Force. Nearly every relationship he ever had, whether it be political allies or his Sith apprentices, were all just means for him to advance his ambitions in gaining power. Despite all of this, however, there was a small group of people Palpatine genuinely liked and considered to be his friends. They were the select few that made up his inner circle, known as the Imperial Ruling Council, and everyone within it was trusted with his greatest secrets as well as having the opportunity to see the real side of Palpatine without any of his masks that he put on for everyone else. Among this already small group was one man that stood out in terms of who was trusted and liked the most. This man was known as Sate Pestage, and he'd been a close ally and friend of Palpatine since they were in their early 20s. Pestage was first introduced to Palpatine by Darth Plagueis, and he was originally used for assassination purposes, later being tasked in killing the Senator of Naboo so that Palpatine could take the position for himself. Over time, Palpatine quickly came to respect Pestage due to his professionalism in how he carried out all the under-the-table tasks the two Sith bestowed upon him. This respect later turned into trust, as the two became closer and realized their ambitions for the galaxy were very much aligned with one another, and how they both needed each other to achieve their set-out goals. Palpatine would handle all the public, political affairs, while Pestage handled all the dealings that involved the criminal underworld, and together they would rise to power. This trust was so great, that when Pestage discovered that both Palpatine and Plagueis were Sith Lords, after witnessing them use the Force when they were attacked by assassins, he was in fact allowed to live. For neither Sith sensed an ounce of betrayal in the man, Pestage was professional in how he carried out his tasks, was unquestionably loyal, and most importantly, he knew his place. He was no fool that would ever betray a Sith Lord, a being that in his eyes was far above him in status he could never imagine to ever come close to. And Palpatine knew this. He never had to worry about Pestage betraying him, and because of this he became the Sith Lord's political right-hand man and most trusted advisor once the Inner Council was created following Palpatine's ascension as Emperor of the Galactic Empire. Once the Empire was fully established, Pestage was given the title of Grand Vizier, which was the second highest political title one could hold just below the Emperor. Once Palpatine began to spend most of his time studying and experimenting with the dark side behind closed doors, nearly all major Imperial political decisions were made by Pestage, who oversaw the day-to-day -day activities of the Empire and he was given the power to implement the Imperial Seal on behalf of the Emperor of important legislation passed by the Senate. In exchange for his loyalty, service, and friendship, Palpatine showered Pestage with some of the greatest gifts ever given to any Imperial. The Grand Vizier was given dozens of planets for him to do with anything he pleased, as well as countless credits, making him one of the richest beings in the entire galaxy. He also had a few Star Destroyers named after him as well. When Palpatine died during the Battle of Endor, Pestage was among the very few that knew the Emperor was truly not dead, and was in fact attempting to return back to life through the use of Essence Transfer. In the meantime, Pestage took over the Empire as acting Emperor, and attempted to keep it together while he waited for Palpatine to return. But such a task ended up being nearly impossible for him to succeed in, as most other high-ranking Imperials dismissed his orders and did what they pleased, with eventually a couple of them staging a coup against Pestage and throwing him off the throne. Fearing for his life, Pestage was forced to make a deal with the New Republic in order to save his life from the Imperial Warlords who had taken over and were hunting him down. But before he could reach safety, Imperial forces caught up with him and executed him before his escape. However, it was unknown if they killed him or an apparent clone of his, as later there were reports that the real Pestage had actually escaped to Biss, the planet Palpatine had resurrected himself on through the use of his clone bodies. While on Biss, Pestage returned to his Emperor's side and continued his service as a close advisor, but he would ultimately die following the destruction of Biss a few years later. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.